Hi everyone, my name is Peter Boyer from uh, uh, Tomás Jaron uh, Sakritseum in Bors. And uh, I would like to present present continuous uh, for you today. Uh, as you know, in English we have 12 tenses and this is the second one out of the 12 tenses. Uh, present continuous, hooray, hooray, uh, it's the most popular tense among the students. Somehow, some way, they get it, they understand it uh, very well. So I'm sure that you are going to understand it well also and, and, and get it. Good. So, the scheme for present continuous is subject plus to be plus verb ing. And the time indicators, the key words are now and at the moment. Now, you see that uh, here we have the auxiliary verb to be and I would like to conjugate the verb to be for you. I am, you are, he, she, it is, we are, you are, they are. Uses. Uh, with present continuous we have um, five uses and all of them are equally important. Uh, the first use. The present continuous or present progressive expresses an action being performed at the moment of speaking. Actions or events happening at or around the time of speaking. So students like present continuous a lot because in this case expre it, it, it expresses what we are doing right now. Uh, I would like to give you examples. Look, that boy is climbing a tree now. What are you doing now? I am making coffee at the moment. We are swimming at the moment. Okay? And uh, let me mention uh, the negative and interrogative forms also. In negative, I am not dancing now. As you see, I'm really not dancing. I'm talking to you. Or uh, I am not praying now. Of course, I'm not because I'm making a video. Uh, you are not, let's say, you are not uh, jumping around in the gym or you are not lifting weights and so on and so forth. Uh, let's see the interrogative. Are you playing the piano now? Is she singing at the moment? Are we planting trees now? And we could give many, many more examples. Now let's see the second use. Uh, we use present continuous to express a present period or a temporary state in the present. So here we don't have uh, a present precise moment and we don't say or don't tell what we are doing in this precise present moment but rather uh, we, uh, we talk about a present period. David is doing his military service. If we consider the military service to be something like a year of course, it's not a present moment, it's a present period. Uh, I am learning French this term, or I am learning French this semester. Okay? A term uh, is equally a present period, because a term can mean a semester, a term can mean two semesters, which is uh, a school year, a term can mean in military service, for instance, a year, or uh, a year and a half, or two years, and so on and so forth. So, I'm learning French this term, that's a period. He is writing, uh, writing another novel, yes? He's writing another novel. Now, uh, in case of writing a novel, of course the term, the period, uh, it's not precise. Writing a novel may mean a month and may mean a year and may even mean 10 years, who knows? But it's a present period. He is writing another novel. 
I am building a new house. This is a very practical sentence. Building a house also may mean a year or two or even five depending on the finances, depending on the labor, depending on the expertise of uh, those who build the house. So I'm building a new house. It's obviously not a present precise moment, but a present period, a term. Third use. We use present continuous for situations which are changing or developing around the present. Now, as I said, present continuous also has the name present progressive. There are situations which are in constant change, which are in, pro which are in uh, progress, which are changing and which are developing. And here uh, I had two examples, but I think I will add a few more to this to make it more obvious. He is becoming a more serious person. Well, personality change, when, when people change into, into better, their personality matures, it's, uh, it's a building process, a developing situation, so he is, build, uh, he is becoming a more serious person. Let's see another developing uh, situation or changing situation. Uh, the problem of littering is getting more and more serious, yes? The progress of filling up the world, earth, with garbage is getting more and more serious. Okay, uh, let's see another progress, another developing uh, situation. Sea level, uh, the level of the seas are rising, yes, sea level uh, sea levels are rising, okay? Or we could even say that um, the ice is melting at Antarctica. Or um, the number of workers is growing constantly. This is a development. This is a changing situation. This is a progress, yes? The number of workers in the factory is growing constantly. Or, uh, the shoe factory is building more and more, uh, uh, more, more and more building for new workers. Yes? Here we speak about uh, a factory which is in constant growth because finances work well for them. It's a growing industry. Now, <clears throat> fourth use. Uh, this is very interesting, actually. Present continuous is used to express the constant repetition of an event, an action permanently characterizing the subject, and focus here. This is a habit and usually one that annoys or causes a strong feeling of some kind in the speaking person. So, this is an annoying habit of another person. One, it's not your habit. Two, it's annoying. Uh, three, it's the habit of another person. This is the only case when we use uh, the time indicator always in case of present continuous. We know that we use always <clears throat> with present simple. But in this case, because it's a situation or uh, an action which permanently characterizes the subject so, and, and it annoys us, we will use always and verb ing. So, he is always playing with his nose. Really. It's very disturbing, very annoying. He is always playing with his nose. Steve is always leaving his clothes on the floor. Imagine a friend, uh, a family member, 
a brother or a husband called Steve, who is always leaving his clothes on the floor. We will use always as a time indicator and verb ing. He is constantly eating during classes. My fellow teachers, my dear colleagues, uh, you know how annoying it is when a student is constantly eating during classes. It may and should not happen, yes? Time indicators, always, continually, constantly, forever and permanently. And the fifth use is also very interesting and it's, it is very important to, to remember this. You learn it once and you will never ever forget it. We can express future continuous with present continuous. Yes, it is possible to express future actions with present continuous. When we use it for planned future actions related to personal arrangements. A present arrangement or agreement about a future event, plan or action. Here I give you the examples. We are meeting after school for a coffee. When you have this immediate close future arrangement with somebody, you can use present continuous. We are meeting after school for a coffee. I am traveling to London tomorrow. We are watching a movie on Monday. Thank you very much for your attention and see you next time. Thank you.